I migrated from Kosovo okay. uh, in 88 and uh, then uh, spent four to five years in Adriatic coast and lived in Italy for more than four years. It is very hard to explain to the Americans how is the situation in Kosovo. Mm -hmm. And since the United Nations came in Kosovo, if you are Rom and dark-skinned person, mm -hmm. you cannot even obtain the birth certificate in the country where you are born. The children don't go to school. Okay. Uh, Roma cannot move freely because of the fear that they would be harm, harmed by the extremist Albanians. Okay. No international non-governmental organization would hire a Rom. Mm -hmm. And literally they are prisoners in a small enclaves and the freedom of mov movement is very limited. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate to begin with uh, for not using the word gypsy. Okay. So commonly Roma are known as gypsies. Okay, and this is a word that you do not like? Uh, it's not that I do not like it as mm -hmm. a scholar and as a Rom. Right. In our Romani voc vocabulary, right. there is, uh, I mean, the gypsy word doesn't exist. Okay. Talk about visual arts, especially the fine arts. Um, there are certainly a lot of uncertainties about that in mm -hmm. terms of securities. When we did this project, it was the third project that I worked with John Worley uh, on. And the McDonald project, of course, tells the story of the um, early um, adventures of Mr. McDonald, who the street is named after, who was a fantastic, uh, I guess, an avid hunter, an outdoors person. And he's there, of course, with his dog and his fancy uh, riding uh, buggy. Interacting with the communities, getting them involved with processes, and having them feel that they have ownership of the work, uh, and mm -hmm. leave that community knowing that a piece of me is there and you know, a piece of our sort of communion mm -hmm. has been mm -hmm. there. Um, that works for me. What I have here, this is a, a very popular musical instrument. Um, uh, it's called the thing. Anywhere in the world, uh, this, wherever you go and you see people with this instrument, uh, you're likely to find that they are monk. So this is kind of like the symbol of our people. Mm -hmm. um, and this instrument is usually used um, uh, during, uh, what is it, uh, when someone dies, um, you know. Funeral. Funeral, there you go, funerals. And it's used to guide the spirits back to the ancestors. I don't know how to play this, but uh, I'm going to just blow go, just so that we it, know how it, it is. Shot. It was very tough because basically, you know, we had to pack up everything that we had and, uh, and leave on foot. Um, and we had to pretty much, uh, you know, go, uh, go by night uh, so that we wouldn't be discovered. 